All right, green abundance here at Edwards Church at the Open Spirit Edible Forest Garden here during a very rainy morning. Just to show you exactly what we're talking about when it comes to the water harvesting project here. So, as you can see, the water here is coming down the parking lot here and it's making its way over to this little corner of the path right here and I think you can see the ripples and the waves of water here. This is moving pretty quickly along the path here and it doesn't have any outlet in the garden beds at the moment so it's just kind of building up and moving further and further along the edge. It starts to slow down a little bit here where it's got some more depth to uh, be stored in. This whole area is kind of becoming a little flooded right here. And then it's making its way along this side before it dumps over the side there. So it's actually moving pretty much right near where the downspout is, but it's concentrating a little bit too much water in this area than we want. Um, so, after this project's completed, all of this water shouldn't be moving along this anymore and instead will be flowing into the beds themselves, soaking, and then when it's, if the water flow is too quick or the volume is too high, instead of overflowing down there, all this water will be sunk in there, make its way into this basin area, which will be rock, and just overflow down there. So taking all this water, putting it in the bed, and overflowing it down there, for this bed to then soak in further. So yeah, I, uh, tomorrow we're doing the, uh, we have the workshop and uh, you'll get to see a before and after. So here you can see the water very clearly moving through the pathway here. So yeah, a lot of water building up right here and then it just picks up steam and goes towards the building so we're gonna hit it right there dig down where that grass is create a little basin and soak all that water in use it in the garden instead of using it down by the foundation So here we are doing our test fill with harvested rainwater from that rain barrel over there. And we're filling it in to see exactly how our level is and let the water tell us exactly where we're working here with our uh, trenches. So here's our basin for the main water catchment, which is connected to this trench here. And this trench here is going to fill up with water and irrigate these berries here. We got blueberries and aronia and service berry. And you can see here, maybe you can't, but this is a little bit shallower than down there. So it's the same height and elevation from this point here all the way down there. So water, in theory, will fill up evenly across this whole length across this basin and also and then eventually overflow at that point so we'll see how it does in in a bit so here we are we've got about 20 gallons of water from the rain barrel in and it has already filled up this basin here and it has started making its way down this trench and we're approaching almost towards the end of the trench here it's about 80 percent of the way and it filled up pretty much to where we expected it to see the the front edge there those flags are an indicator for one inch of elevation lower than our low point over there so 
this filled up first and then started making its way along this trench. So there's quite a bit more for the water to go down this trench and fill it up further before we get to the point of overflowing at this point. So we'll be back to check up on it in a bit. So here we are about 15 minutes later. We're about a, let's say a quarter of the way through our 150 gallon rain barrel. And you can see the water has gone to the edge right there, is not overflown. And it has filled this entire trench out completely with water. So we've reached this point here. And we have yet to get to the point of it overflowing down there yet. So we're just monitoring it. So it's definitely working. It's definitely evenly dispersing the water throughout this entire trench in the garden. It's got a great basin of water right here. Great storage. So uh, it's getting pretty close to overflowing. And this side over here. You can see it's, it's just getting to the edge there, but it's, it's, it hasn't overflowed yet. So we'll, we'll come back to see when this has started to, to overflow and spill over and show you the, the new movement of water. So here we are looking at the, right at the ground level here of this level ditch as well. So we filled up evenly the entire length of this trench here. And right now because we have a rain barrel that's feeding this we're gonna get an idea of actually how many gallons of water this will start will start holding. Um, and uh, one interesting thing is this will actually uh, we can use the rain water that's stored in the rain barrel to help irrigate this passively. So it'll be like a rain event in between rain events. And uh, the rain barrel is right over there. So we just have a hose hooked up to it that we can just run along to here and basically just put it there and empty it into this whole system here. So we won't have to actually hand water anything with this. We'll actually just be able to let it drain into this garden. So this is actually a pretty efficient way of utilizing the low pressure out of a uh, existing rain barrel. So here we are at the new low point and it's getting very close to the edge. You can see that this side is a little bit higher in terms of the elevation. We have a, actually, a, it's right at pretty much the grass level here. So I built that up just a little bit because it was a hair lower over here. And it was just about to start flowing that way. So we're, we're very close to the, the overflow point of this feature. You can see in there, we're storing all this water. And you can kind of see it's, it's not really moving quickly. Not that the water itself that's moving into it is that moving that quickly. But by having a level surface in which all the water can disperse itself through, um, it's slowing the velocity of water down. So any potential for erosion or any other problems is mitigated by the fact that everything is level. So it slows all the water down. So here we are. It's about 30 minutes after we started filling up the water harvesting basin. And we're just under halfway through this 160 gallon, I think it's 160 gallon rain barrel. So close to 80 gallons so far have been added to our water feature. And we can see here we have a good basin of water that's now slowly soaking and filling out. Water here has made its way all the way along this level trench. Water is getting close, but we're still within probably three quarters of an inch from it ever getting high enough to go over there. And we're 
basically just at the point of it overflowing down here. The water is actually really saturating the soil along this front edge and it is it is pretty much at the border of overflowing it's just very slow but you can feel this area right here I guess it's actually it is already overflowing it there's water already on this here so we're at we're at that point of our basin being fully fully filled and starting to overflow but as you can see because everything is so evenly dispersed there is no moving water it's all just very slowly percolating its way down down this way so we've mitigated successfully the flow of water that's been rushing from this point all the way down there and emptying there and we've now rerouted it so it's evenly dis distributing itself along this whole row and then coming out and uh, dumping itself along this low point here. So now we're going to backfill this in with some of that crushed bluestone and we will have our permeable passive water harvesting feature complete. So just as a demonstration, we ran the hose from the rain tower again, just to kind of simulate rain coming in off the parking lot. So that's flowing. As you can see, it's coming in here, and it's hitting this point here, and sinking right in, down in there. And it is making its way a little bit over here, but again, it's sinking into the to our basin here so it's kind of making its way in that area there's about a quarter inch of water that's standing right there and then it kind of goes over here as well but so far this is doing the job that we need it to do along in there and this will be neatened up once I get a little bit more stone so I can kind of grade the stone into the, the mulch a little bit while using that weed block as a uh, barrier to keep them separated. So yeah, here we have the completed project harvesting a ton of water passively. through this whole area. Well, you can see it coming back up there, daylighting. I need to add a little bit more stone. Stone along that front edge there. But yeah, here we are. Awesome crew today. Bridget, Scott, and Peter. Knocked it out of the park. Did a great job community effort here at the Open Spirit Edible Forest Garden. So here we are, day of work complete, and uh, we're pretty much done here. So as you can see where the wet stone is, that's where we had our water coming in from our rain barrel, and that did its job. Basically it migrated to here and then a little bit also migrated further down and soaked along there. And you can see where that whetstone is there. That's where it's starting to soak down into the path that way. And so uh, I would say, yeah, this has uh, been a success. Uh, I'm really excited to see it during a rain event, see how the water moves through it. But uh, as we were doing it, uh, we were able to witness the water evenly fill up this entire trench here and all the way into here. And the water start to mi started to migrate over here, just as we expected, about an inch below the low point over there. So, 
we shouldn't be having any more issues here and we should be harvesting quite a bit of rainwater. Um, we were able to pretty much empty the rain tank, the rain barrel. As you can see, it's the water level is right about there now. So it's close to 160 gallons of water that we're able to pump, not pump, but deposit into this water feature and uh, irrigate this area passively. So yeah, please comment if you have any questions, uh, like, share, and I guess subscribe if uh, you're so inclined. Green Abundance out.